I'm Jaya, but you can call me. I'm ashy. Hold on. Okay, let's try that again. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm JL, but you can call me Holly J. <laughs> get to by the title i am here with a try on haul it's been a minute and it's so crazy because i love clothes so i don't i don't know what the problem has been but i love clothes and yeah before we get into the clothes make sure you are subscribed make sure you leave a like a comment i really got the feeling that people really like my fashion content so Y'all better like this video. Y'all better leave a girl comment. I have some really cute pieces. I've been really wanting to do a Shein haul because Shein is like right up my alley. I'm all about getting 10 things for $100. Like, I like stuff like that. Like, 150, I'm good. I feel very accomplished. Shein is on trend. Um, and just right on my alley i'm sorry like it just is so i'm gonna be showing you some things that i got so if you're interested in that keep watching just so y'all know i got most of my clothes in a medium um if you're interested in knowing the sizes i wore let me know i don't want to give details where they're not needed but most of the clothes are a medium okay so the first item is this crop top um, this crop top, it has, it's like this, you know, it's, it's self-explanatory. It gives, it has this cut out as like a, um, bustier, but it's a high neck crop sleeve crop top. And it's really stretchy. Like, it's really stretchy. It's like, um, legging material. And then the back. I think this is so cute. I was like, okay, a little cute, a little, it's like, it's cute, it's cute, you know, with jeans and, or a skirt or, you know. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you are these pants. So these pants, y'all, when I saw these, I was like, oh. So the next thing I got were these jeans. They're called, they're like the O-ring jeans and they're like mom jeans with this light wash. And I love these. I love the detail of these jeans. I love the wash of these jeans. I love the fit of these jeans. They are so cute. They're high-waisted. I love blank pockets, so this is amazing. And then the detail on the ankle, oh my gosh, y'all don't say nothing about my toes because y'all know we in quarantine. Anyways, and then like the detail on the ankle and stuff it has little o-rings okay so this next piece is this really pretty i want to say like orange mosaic dress pattern dress i've seen it on instagram a few places i can't recall if i do i may insert a picture but it's this really like pretty draped dress with this orange mosaic pattern and the shoulders are spaghetti strap with adjustable straps. It has like a little cutout for the breast, like a bustier kind of thing. And then the draping and a slit. I love this. This is really cute. <laughs> okay, like when I saw it, I was like, she ain't got this. I've seen this places. So I was really hyped to try it. And it fits really nice. It's not see-through to my, to like what I see. Um, it is thin material, but I don't see anything through it. I think the pattern helps, but it's not like the thickest material, but obviously it's supposed to, it's similar to think of like a slip dress, but it doesn't have the inside lining. So you should be fine, but yeah, cute. Okay, so this next piece is this white button down cinched waist long sleeve t-shirt t-shirt dress my mistake and of course this has been on my want wish list because these are just 
staples right now these can be layered these can be dressed up dressed down this is super springy super flattering and i feel like any body type being that it's trying to cinch in the waist and it's over flowy i mean oversized and flowing um i will say that i can't button these because I'm just one person, can't button the arms, but it the shape of the arms does look good um, if I could button it. But I will say that I only came, only came with one button and it just looks like they just completely forgot it. Like it didn't fall off, doesn't like it was ever there. So luckily I know how to add buttons, but all right, Shein. All right, cause I I'm a fan of you, and this is my first time, and I'm missing a button. But other than that, this fit is really nice. I don't even know if I could have done a small. I think you want to go with your actual size in this dress, um, because it's supposed to be flowy. It's supposed to cinch the waist just a tad, and it's supposed to give that effect. If I did a small, I feel like. I wouldn't have as much movement and range of motion in it. I would feel probably more restricted. So definitely get your size. But this is cute. I really want to pair this with color. Like I want like a statement bag, some statement shoes, and like maybe a lip that matches it or keep it new, whatever. But I love this. I'm just missing a butt. Okay, so as you can see, I also got some accessories. And this is one of the first accessories I got. It's this diamante belt and i went between i went back and forth for myself as far as should i get the skinny belt should i get the thick belt and i went with the skinny belt because i think i want it to be not a belt but a waist belt and i just think this will be less distracting but just that hint of pop for future outfits so i went with the skinny one it's definitely long enough comes in the one size um everything's on there no complaints here love it okay so this next piece is this lace cami bustier top so definitely got this to kind of recreate the vibes i've been seeing with the layering of the bustiers and all that so i did show it to you guys with it on top of this white dress um these two together i don't know they might not be the perfect match but this is how i intend to kind of utilize this i dig it in a large because i am a 30 40 so i want it to be on the safe side it is a little big i would have probably preferred a medium because it does give you so much versatility on the tightness of the straps um so much so that i could have used a smaller width um for the bustier itself if you see what i'm saying so yeah, I probably would have gotten a medium, but either way it goes, it's for layering for the most part. So I should be able to finesse it and it should allow for shirts and like whatever to get underneath it and not be too tight. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, like this is really cute. I would say it's for layering, but to each his own. Okay. And yeah, get you one. Okay, so this next piece, as you can see, is this paisley tie in the back a symmetrical halter top thingamajig it has adjustable straps i love this pattern they had other patterns but i thought that this one would be really cute with blue jeans white um olive green sand tan like i think you could just do a lot with this so i went with this one um and not too much to say about it i think it fits well i got a medium and i told you guys i'm a 34d so this went well and has adjustable straps and you get to tie the back. So I would think that you want to think about it as if you have like a wider um, back or anything like that. That would be my only concern with sizing. But honestly, even if you got a large, you can tie it tighter. You can adjust the straps. So really and truly, just go with your normal size and you should be fine. Um, I like this. It's very springtime. I'm feeling it. Okay, so here's the next item. It's this gold like cow neck um, halter and it ties in the back. It's this satin finish. It's so cute, y'all. This is so cute. And I got it in gold because I wear gold a lot, but they have like silver and a few other colors. So I would 
definitely suggest grabbing one of these i think this could be dressed up really nicely i think it'd be dressed down as well but definitely real dressed up you can get real cute with this top and it's like a neutral color so you won't be going wrong i love this i think it fits me really nicely and it kind of snugs at the waist so you get a little shape just a little shape I need to make a confession. I am obsessed with white tops. White tops are my go-to. Like I'll be online shopping, looking, or I'm looking at the colors they offer and I always want the white one. Like white tops are just clean. Like I love them. This top is nothing different. I got it in white and she didn't kind of let you choose which shoulder you want to put it on. Yeah, because there's no tag. So if you wanted to put this on this side, you could. So I think that's really cute. If you want it to be tight on this side, that's really cute. Because maybe you have like a slit on, on this side and you want the tie on this side. You can actually make that decision for yourself. It is a bit see-through, hence why I have on the bra underneath. But I also wanted to put that on so that you could see that it's see-through a little bit. And it's a stretchy material. Um, but I, I love the one shoulder trend that's going on right now i want to get a few more in this kind of feel but i really like this it's gonna be a cute little staple also has something extra to it that's how i like my clothes i like them simple yet edgy so this will get used a lot i already know i love white tops real cute okay so another white top what a surprise i already told you guys love white shirts got this one it's nothing crazy nothing to it it's just a graphic t-shirt but i will say this is the stretchiest material i've ever had a graphic t-shirt ever be um i think it's cut really nice it hits to about the hips so it's like a full shirt but it's like it fits women's woman style though it's not like a male's graphic t-shirt um i got this because i need graphic t-shirts um i often want like on the weekends i like to just throw on well i haven't been throwing on nothing but when life was normal i um love to throw on a graphic t-shirt and biker shorts or graphic t-shirt and jeans with some fans like real chill and i realized my graphic t-shirt collection has became so small since a high schooler so i've been on the hunt and i'm probably gonna do like a haul simply for graphic t-shirts because i didn't I need them and I think that that would be a really cool haul but anyways I did get this shirt I think it's really cute clean I want to say not to dress down I think this one is really cute like with those big airport shades this would be a whole look with this classic t-shirt so that's where I was kind of going with this one so yeah. yeah so the next top I got is this I think let's see so what they call it is a rib knit mesh hem mock knit crop top. Those are a lot of nouns. <laughs> it's a crop top obviously, but it has like the boning of like a bustier and it has like the cutout around the breast. So you probably don't want to wear a bra with this or if you do it needs to be like a strapless black or like a bralette, something that could go with the theme of the shirt because the bra definitely shows in the back. So this is meant to be real like real casual sexy which really stood out to me i really like this shirt and i've seen it on like these other websites for like 30 plus dollars and she ain't had it for probably less than half of that so yeah i really like Shein because they speaking to me because i don't play it i don't play it my curls are dropping y'all do y'all like this hair? If you do, check out this video that I have on it. I don't know if it's on my channel yet or if it's coming after this. Either way, check out the video card right here. Okay. So I have here a little crop top, spaghetti strap, little cami crop top. It's white. What a surprise. I told you guys I have to think for white. It's going to come in handy because I've already worn it once and I have plenty more plans for it, especially with this skirt you guys saw um i definitely expected this to be a satin skirt similar um to that gold shirt but it's not it's more like polyester i guess but 
I'm not upset at it. It's breathable and it's colorful. So it still gives me the vibe that I'm looking for. I just thought it would be satin finish, but it's still cute. Alright guys, so that's the end of this try on haul from Shein. I hope you guys liked it. Comment down below what pieces are your favorite. Is it the shoes? Is it the jeans? Is it these tops? Let me know. I want to bring this cute spring haul to you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Holly with three L's dot J A I. It'll be in the description box, but make sure you follow me because I'll be styling some of these pieces and I want y'all to see how I put them together. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. I love all my subscribers thus far. You guys are very, very uplifting and make me feel so good. Like have sweet messages. Some people even say like, I love to hear that. Y'all love my energy, my personality. I'm so happy that I can like be like a little piece of light when you watch my videos something like that but anyways just make sure that you like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video